With me, I would want to first of all express my condolences and that of the people of Ajuri County in Aleptong District, the entire northern region and to the people of Uganda upon the untimely demise of my lecturer, my leader, my friend, my big brother, the Right Honorable Jacob Olanya, the Speaker of the 11th Parliament of the Republic of Uganda. Obua Dennis Amson brings with him 16 years of legislative experience where he served the Parliament of the Republic of Uganda, designated uh, by my own party, the National Resistance Movement, as parliamentary commissioner, the spokesperson of the NRM Parliamentary Caucus, the chairperson of uh, the Science and Technology Committee, and throughout my lifetime in Parliament, I have always been designated to the Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee. I have served my nation and my party with distinction and with an impeccable record, both in legislation. All of you are aware that my first time in Parliament, I was rated the best debater by the African Leadership Institute when I was uh, representing the youth of Northern Uganda. From that time to date, the people of Uganda are well aware of who Obua is. I possess the requisite experience. I am well grounded on the parliamentary practices with regard to the Commonwealth parliamentary practices. You are aware that um, even when I was elevated to the position of Minister of State for Education and Sports in charge of sports, my results can speak volume. I am result-oriented, action-oriented. I believe in taking on the mantle left by my senior, the late Right Honorable Jacob Olanya, we will be able, one, to bring on table what the National Resistance Movement Constitution upholds, the spirit of regional balance. NRM deploys. Right Honorable Jacob Olanya, may he rest in peace, was deployed to serve for a period of five years as Speaker of Parliament. And he hails from Northern Uganda. Northern Uganda demonstrated its aspirations and its interests and wishes when it overwhelmingly supported the National Resistance Movement government. And we believe that as part of balancing the board, the North must continue with its agenda but based on the fact that the party should take this decision. You are also aware that the National Resistance Movement has set a precedent and a practice in the recent past. When the Honorable Matthias Paston, while serving as a member of the East African Legislative Assembly, you are aware that a number of our cadres from North, Central, East and Western Uganda expressed their interest. But the Central Executive Committee with the view of continuity and institutional memory, thought it wise that all candidates should be uh, subjected to vetting and they approved majorly candidates from the central region. So this is a practice. This is a precedent already set. Obua acts as a bridge. The NRM is a multi-layered political organization. It embraces the young, the middle age, and the senior members. I act as a bridge between the young members and the old members. So I want to say that um, all factors constant, Obua Dennis Amson presents himself as the best probable and possible replacement of Right Honorable Jacob Olanya. May he rest in peace because of reasons advanced. Honorable, why do you want to abandon them? Because when you are chosen to be a speaker, you must resign from the other position. Why do you want to abandon the ministry? Let's cross the bridge when we get there. Nothing would arise at this stage that you would want to abandon. There are principles, there are doctrines, there are ideals that are cherished by the National Resistance Movement. At this stage, you will not even talk about resignation. First of all, we need a very, very strict interpretation of the constitutional provision. As a member of parliament, 
I have the right to vote. I have the right to be voted. As and when that provision of the law is uh, required, we will all be required to comply. But for now, it does not arise. Looking at the various provisions of the NRM constitution, including the rules of procedure, I strongly believe and feel that this position deserves to be occupied in terms of replacement of the Right Honorable Jacob Olanya by a member of parliament of the National Resistance Movement ailing from Northern Region. Sir, you're most welcome. Thank you. Uh, could you present? Your judgment now. Ah! Ha ha ha! Members of the press, this letter is addressed to the chairperson of the NLM Electoral Commission. Expression of interest for the position of speaker of the 11th Parliament of the Republic of Uganda. Signed, Honorable Dennis Obua Hamson. Minister of State for Education and Sports, Sports, and Member of Parliament, Ajuri County, Electoral District. I don't look at their papers because I have all the papers in my office. I can verify. 